Arkham Brother with you, your prize winning penny pincher and chief of being cheap. And in this video, we're gonna tell you how you can get started investing in the stock market with as little as $100. But before we do, if you see value in this video and wanna see more videos like it, please consider helping me out by walking all over that like button, subscribing so we can keep in touch, and sharing is caring, so by, so by all means, please do share this video and hit that notification bell so you'll know when new videos are released and you'll be able to check those out too. I really do appreciate the support. Now, into the subject. Investing in the stock market, one of the great things about it is you really don't have to have a lot of money. Whatever amount of money you have to start is how much money that you can start investing with, even as little as like a hundred bucks. So basically there's four methods that you can use to start investing with as small an amount of money as a hundred dollars. I won't lie. Three of them are a little on the risky side, uh, depending on your experience level. But the last one to me is actually pretty safe. It's a slower way to grow money, but you will see your account increase. And in actuality, that's what you want. You want your account to grow. And sometimes slow growth beats no growth. So let's talk about some of the more kind of daring, but a little bit more risky ways to do it. The first one is you can trade options, okay? So if you're not familiar with options, it's when you're buying a contract to allow you to purchase stock at a certain price, but you also have the ability to sell that contract as it goes up and down in, vol in value. So the contracts vary from company to company. I'm gonna put up a few well-known companies here that have actually inexpensive options contracts that you can purchase but if you're just starting trading stocks i would not recommend options because it takes some time to understand how to purchase the right contract and under what circumstances to purchase that contract but options can see your money grow quickly but on the downside you can also lose money quickly too so trading options is one number two trading penny stocks I mean, if you only got a hundred bucks and you're trading stocks that are under, you know, a dollar a share, and I'll put some of those stocks up here, some of the companies, you may not recognize them because some penny stocks are penny stocks because they are really not stable companies. And I really would not recommend investing in them, but do your research. Sometimes you can find an up and comer that is worth going into that you can buy for 70 or 80 cents a share and you'll look up two months down the road and, and it's at seven or eight dollars which would be like a you know what is that a one thousand percent return on your money so not likely to happen but if your analysis is on point and you got some experience you could win going that route just be wary that these are penny stock companies sometimes it's literally a, a tent in someone's backyard and that tent could blow away and also the company could blow away in the blink of an eye. You can look up one day it's there, the next day it's delisted, okay? So penny stocks is another way to go in with something as small as $100. The third way, and this could really be risky, high risk, high reward, you could chase breakouts, okay? Breakouts are when stocks have a huge ascent in a short period of time sometimes as little as a few minutes, you know, or, or say within a half hour or hour of a day where a stock goes up, uh, you know, 50, 60, 80, a couple hundred percent. A lot of times it happens in pre-market. I'll throw up a couple charts here just to give you an example. And you'll see uh, here are the charts, how these stocks have gone up so quickly in like a really, really short period of time. But a lot of times with these breakouts, just as quick as they went up, if you don't know when to get out, you will lose and lose big because they will sink faster than you throwing a boulder off of a 50 story building. I mean, they will go down fast. So number three is chasing breakouts. The fourth way is probably the slowest way. It may be the most dull, but it's the most consistent. And that is simply finding affordable, reputable companies that have uh, lower stock prices, and I'm gonna put some up here, they're gonna start scrolling up any moment now, 
that you can buy a few shares with $100 and the key is to buy them when they are grossly oversold with an opportunity to have you know, 5, 10, maybe even 15% of growth. You set a target and you basically purchase it. You wait on it to hit your price. When it hits your price, you sell out, you rinse and repeat and do the process all over again with another company. And this will take a little bit longer, but you will see your account grow over time. So there it is, four ways for you to get started trading in the stock market with only a hundred bucks. To be honest, I only really recommend one, which is the last one, unless you have some prior experience and you're a really good chart reader, then, you know, then I would say the other ones could apply to you as well. But if you're kind of newer, just look for something that's really beat down at the bottom. Uh, an example was, I think, U.S. Steel, they had, which is one of my favorite companies, they had a big uh, sell-off due to a common stock offering, and it pushed the stock way down to about 16 bucks. And within a week or two, you know, it was up to like $23 or something like that. So a big gain, like 40, 50% within a couple of weeks. You can't beat that. I mean, you just absolutely cannot beat that. So that's my opinion on this. Uh, if you got some stuff that you think also works for trading when you're getting started with only a hundred bucks, do me a favor, leave it in the comment section. I'd love to see it. I'd love to respond to it. But until next time, Bargain Brothers going to sign off. I will see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hit that notification bell. I really appreciate your support, and I will talk to you guys soon.